Okay, what sets apart the fellowship um, application? I would say that one of the biggest opportunities is the personal essay. So note that this is a personal essay and not like in the NSF um, application, a research proposal. So what does that mean? Some people are confused. They're like, I wrote this research proposal for the NSF. And like, what do I do now that this application is asking for a personal essay? Um, on the one hand, it's not, it's not necessarily the time to sort of like set out your life history. It's not a biography necessarily. Um, but um, as this bullet point says, it's an opportunity to highlight your personal creativity. Well, I would say, you know, including your research, you know, those aspects in which you were created within your research, as well as outside of your research. It's really trying to afford you an opportunity to provide a holistic picture of yourself and your intellectual creative pursuits. Um, so, well, I'll try to get into that a little bit later in terms of describing what that means. There are some more specific short essays that address kind of the more nuts and bolts aspects of um, your training and your future plans. And then there's a chronological synopsis. Um, some people, so I wanna say also that I see um, as someone who see, uh, you know, fields questions from people who apply, that people get hung up on things like, what is the chronological, am, am I doing this correctly? I would just say that these are ref these are all reference points for understanding who you are as an applicant, who you are as a student, as a creative thinker. And there's no wrong way really to do anything. Um, we're just trying to gather as much information about you as possible. And again, this chronological synopsis is just one way to kind of see the history of your training, have access, quick access to all the things that you have learned or have experienced. Um, so think of it that way. Try to think of it always as an opportunity, not like you can do something wrong, but that you have an opportunity to show yourself in the best light. Um, and so, you know, maybe spend more time on something like the personal essay where you can really be free form and spend less time worrying about something nuts and bolts like the chronological synopsis, like just throw your, you know, training history there and don't worry about the, the specific details. Um, and then the rest of it is kind of your usual thing, transcripts, recommendations, and GREs. But I do wanna, um, and the GRE is optional. Um, so that is not required anymore, like many graduate programs and other fellowships. I do wanna spend one moment on the recommendations because um, I feel that this is also an important uh, differentiator in terms of what's different about the application. I strongly encourage you to think early and hard about your letter writers because, um, and to let any letter writer that you maybe have already thought of and already are on the hook for graduate um, school applications, not to copy and paste their letter into the form. The Hertz Foundation has a very specific reference form that has a number of detailed questions for the recommender. So it is good for you to sort of warn or inform your letter writers that this is the case and that they are hopefully prepared and willing to spend the time to specifically address those questions for your case. Um, and uh, this is just, again, the kinds of things that Derek has already mentioned, creativity, independence, independent thinking, um, in all of your inte intellectual research, uh, academic pursuits. And so the more you can, you know, sort of mine your experience with professors, with other mentors um, who are senior to you, um, best if they are senior from postdocs, for example, um, the better you are. And I also want to emphasize, I mean, we are really here to help you. Nothing you do should make you feel like you're entering a black box. 